Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more Disguy 4 Promise Revisited. In the last episode, uh, Judge Nemo appeared to taunt us. And in this episode, we are going to, uh. Well, we're gonna go keep exploring, uh, Fuka's lab. Fuka's father's lab, really, but who's counting? <laughs> let's, uh, let's check my guys. Okay. Carrying on! Map 4, Chaos Factory! Chaos Swiss Roll! Let's go! Alright, what do we got here? We got stairs. Hey there, everyone, we're playing Cuber. <laughs> looks like, uh. It looks like these guys are going to be hilariously weak to Delta of Death, so, uh, let's try using it. I can do it. There. Yeah, look at this. Nine targets. <laughs> let's destroy them all! Desco, let's destroy them all! Fenric, let's destroy them all! Can I, can I do that? I can do that, but it's not going to do me much good. Um, I need turn. someone to like follow up with a, the projectile attack or something. Yeah, like that. Then Fenrir can get the kill. I think I need to upgrade some the weapons on these guys. Maybe I'll do that in between maps. It, it hits, it doesn't kill though. Let's just pull the other guys out, see what's up. Okay, let's see here. Stella, you can help. Uh, you can help Sasha get a kill. Fuka, you can move in for the for the kill on these two. Actually, you can make two kills with glorious hitter. Valatores, you step in to get Luca out of the way once she's done. Uh, once she's done attacking, and Rutil can use Kitty Cat Copter. That one is not dead, but that is fine because we have Desco. Yay, Desco! And now we get Valatores' turn back. Is pretty great. Bloody hole. All right, that wasn't too bad. Next turn. Yeah, this actually isn't. This actually. This actually isn't looking all too bad. Uh, Martina, though, you need, you need some levels. Dual canine attack will be a kill. What about this? Gasoline. <laughs> Names in this game, man. Seriously. It's, it's all over the thing. Impaler Prince will definitely hit. There, there, there. Yeah, there's no way that wasn't gonna be a kill. Um, Uh, 
time for this. This is stupid. But surprisingly effective. Yeah, Dusko has enough levels for now. Oops. Catly Raid. And that's the Chaos Factory. Okay. Got a couple of new things there. Alright, let's take a quick break to upgrade uh, upgrade some weapons. Starting with our weakest guy, of course. Oh, actually, I can raise the product ranks, so, uh, so let's do that. Desco, that's on you. More expensive stuff. Pretty likely to pass. Awesome. Alright, let's buy everybody some new stuff. Starting with a Fist for Fenric. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. And a Gun for Artina. Grand Cannon it has nothing to do with that valley in Arizona. Words to live by, Mr. Video Game. Ooh, that's a terrible gun. Also a terrible gun. Also, maybe identical to what she has. I don't know. Come on. Freaking satellite. Necromagnum. Is that really the most expensive we can do? Yeah, I mean, that's fine, I guess. Stats up, uh, not that much, actually. Let's see here. Arachne Weave, that'll go great on Desco. Theoretically. Let's see, who else? Uh, Sasha gets a bow, Cyrus gets an axe. Crystal Thunder. That's actually not too bad, I think. Eh. Cyrus gets an axe. Uh, no, that one's pretty bad. Lightning Axe. There we go. Who's next? Rutil. You got a fist. You got a fist that is not that. Let's try and get her a good fist. Bone cr eh, sure, why not. Who's... whoops. Who's next? Fuka, you get an axe. You do not get the wing axe. Crescent Thwack... ooh, that looks great. Yeah, plus 400. Next up is Stella, who gets a spear. Twin Ascent. No, that's pretty bad. Let's see if we can do better than that. Mental Javelin. Yeah, I can get behind that, I guess. Alright, sword for Valvatore. Super Flashlight! It's the Illuminator Mark V! It takes 20D batteries! Alright, finally, a staff for... That staff sucks! Come on, store. Come on, Rosen Queen. Oh, I'm running out of cash. Uh, alright, Amizel, you're gonna have to do with your current weapon there, buddy. Sorry. Okay, that was a good shopping spree, though. Let's carry on. Map 5, section G9. Let's go. And... 
enemy boost plus 50%, but other than that, this doesn't really look all that bad. Yeah, this won't be too much of a problem for anybody, really. Although, again, uh, some of our lower level units could definitely use a bit of, uh, a bit of assistance. Here I come. I got this. Hopefully I'll do enough damage to count. Territory where we need to throw somebody, so uh. Measle, whoops. Not what I meant to do. Measle, you can get right on that. Uh. Sure. Finally, Desco. You just do whatever. You're Desco, you don't need to follow directions. That would help if she could hit somebody. Oh well. Alright, as I suspected, uh, Artina was not able to get a level up out of her uh, kill out of that. But now she has, and she and Fenric are the same level. It's magical. Ooh, also, Desco has a target. There we go. Alright, next turn! Let's go! Container. It looks pretty solid, but it actually isn't. Good to know, Mr. The Video Game. Good to know. Actually, I wonder. No, still not good enough. If you attack from behind, will that be good enough? Uh, potentially, if she gets a critical hit. Uh, you also assist with this. And Artina, you can pick off that uh, human recliner. <laughs> you can pick her off if, uh, if she doesn't die to Fuka. Or, not Fuka. Uh, Artina. Sasha! Okay. Keep getting my attackers wrong. It's pretty great. Alright, Fenric, you are going to throw Artina across the board. Valatores, you uh, you weaken this guy with an attack, and Artina will finish him off. That is the true meaning of vampire love! I have no idea where I was going with that. <laughs> Still a better love story than Twilight. 
Dragon! Heck yeah! Dragon! It's a dragon, 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 dragon. Dragon.